I love this team. Kitties. Yeah, there's a couple cats on this team. Um, I love this team. Do you love this team? Hmm. Love's a strong word. Well, there are two <laughs> cats, so I'm happy. Uh, Diggersby and I go way back. Diggersby, though? Uh, sorry, I had to. I'm maybe. sorry. <laughs> well, if you didn't, I was going to, so there's that. Yeah. Uh, I think I was even maybe the one who introduced it to you. I, I, I actually saw in a Fevzy video. Um, oh. I think it was in the hmm. WBE, and every single time he brought it, no, he wasn't in the WBE. He was in the W. Uh, sorry, the um, X9, right? I think he was in X9. One or the other. I could be wrong, and I, I don't think yeah. it really matters in the end. But Yeah, I, he was definitely in X9 because I was harping on him about Archaeops like every single week. And he <laughs> finally brought Archaeops. And I was like, see? I told you. It's it's actually amazing. It, it's, it's defeatist ability definitely makes it one of the things people don't want it for. But... Yeah. What if you Dynamax it and you kill things before it kills you? <laughs> 145 is a big right. number. Um, yeah. And I think it's 120 then, or 115 on the speed or 112. Actually, it might be 112. 110. 110. Okay. There's yeah. that. Airstream. Ma yeah. Make, exactly makes it down. better. Uh, okay. So um, for this team, uh, what there is to love, um, there's a bit of bulky offense. Uh, okay. In a non Dynamax format. <laughs> without the gen 8 power creep um you can live a lot with the um oh my god kickbird blaziken there we go <laughs> <laughs> um kickbird uh, and, then, I, I, and then you got it i love it yeah <laughs> um yeah so, something about like short circuiting my system allows it to restart otherwise i just stall out i don't know how that works but um yeah tangla has redirection sleep powder powerful um reggie drago i personally love to see especially shiny that would be that would make me happy um uh aerodactyl has one of my favorite abilities on nerve mm -hmm. you don't want to run on nerve one week Persian has on nerve and I, oop. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, there is, uh, some synergy, which has been talked about between Tapu Koko and Lipard. Mm -hmm. Um, you have Unburden, but also the, the support moves that Lipard gets, um, are conducive to, um, Tapu Koko sweeps mm -hmm. basically, uh, slow mode, good trick room setter and Musharna. I like the, uh, ability revealing nature of forewarn um and one of the best trick room sweepers i would say escavalier oh yeah um it's coverage yeah, is so crazy for sure and the bulk but also the damage output all of it's just really good um like access yeah, to so max knuckle max knuckle and mm -hmm. you got a sneaky razor shell which is a really really right. nice um rain setter for the fire type yeah a rain setter for not yourself. that they're weak to fire no it's not like it's its only four times weakness <laughs> yeah yeah i i love this team too everything you're saying is just kind of taking the words right out of my mouth i think the only thing we didn't mention was my lodic and I've, we don't really need to introduce that thing um i think i said my lodic and then that was it <laughs> <That's> <laughs> which isn't need. really saying anything that's all you need is like my lodic <laughs> drop the mic and just walk out that's it um you know it's it, work competitive this team is definitely one that wants to be intimidated too which which is one of the things i love about yeah. competitive as well i mentioned earlier is i think mm -hmm. having someone a pokemon with competitive or defiant on a roster that doesn't really draw in that intimidate i feel like you don't get the most value out of so when you have mons like coco which has a really good special uh sorry attack not special attack um Decent special yeah. attack, actually. Escav, yeah. Diggersby, uh, you definitely want to have Intimidate against them, so Milota can definitely turn into a support mon to a one offensive move sweeper in in a specific situation where a stat drop happens. Um, that mm -hmm. thing, Not to mention, if you Icy win this thing, it doesn't care about its speed anyway. <laughs> so, um, True. Yeah, so good. you got to be careful with the stat drops, Snarls, Intimidates, Icy Winds, Electrowebs, things like that. So maybe buff yourself when you're facing this thing. So rather than lowering their own, because uh, a defense boost is just as good as an attack boost on their side or an attack drop right. from your side. So um, yeah, man, I think this team definitely... You have to respect the Reggie Draco 
with the uh, the dragon energy. I've seen that thing just run through teams, just two turn win. Mm. Right, you got the right speed, you got the right four on your other side of the field. Yeah. You know, this thing can win in two turns. Um, so you definitely have to respect that, and not to mention the Lipard just makes everything better. Um, yeah, not to mention Aerodactyl. A lot of people don't know this too. Like, not know this, but usually you look at the rest of the team and you forget about Aerodactyl. Max Rockfall from that thing. It it doesn't just do damage from from stab damage. Like its attack is is good. I think it's a hundred. Uh, I think it's a hundred hundred five. I think it's one hundred five. Hundred five. Um, yeah. I, boosting your special defense after the attack with one hundred thirty base speed is it's almost like you're gaining an assault vest every turn. You know what I mean? Like, and you have another, you could have a life orb on it and then you get your, your sand up and now your special defense is an extra 50% higher. Right. So that's, I think that thing can be very, very sneaky good on this team. So especially with the synergy with, um, a, a stab earthquake from Diggersby could be really cool. Um, the airstream next to it, max it gets that airstream. Yeah. Max yeah. airstream and then earthquake off, right. With huge power. Um, very, very cool. Um, is, is there any move that you think this team might benefit from? Okay, uh, because of the synergy talked about between Lipard, Tapu Koko, like, mm, my hands being a bit forced here, I'm seeing a, uh, a lot of similarities between Persian and Lipard. They're 10 points of speed apart, neither of them. Well, I mean, Lipard has 90 attack, uh, but like, yeah, they, they both um, fit more of like a fast fake out support role overall um so like i feel like one of them could go to give uh another option to the team um just to make it even more dynamic but um yeah i mean i'm not gonna sit here and say persian needs to go persian sucks because uh i won with persian so <laughs> uh i i love persian but um yeah if the synergy between lipard and tapu koko is that good and uh, Persian and Lipard are really filling that similar role. I can see um, for the long-term success of the team um, dropping one or the other, but because of that synergy, if it's Persian, like I understand. But I think it's okay to keep Persian to let Lipard go personally. Um, the question is then, what are you picking up? Because you are losing Prankster on Burden. Yeah, I think... You, I he loves it too, I think. So, <laughs> like, that's another thing. I think that's the main core mm. he wanted. So, um, yeah. Is that why Persian came too? Second, <laughs> second light part? Yeah, he wanted two of them. Can't have enough. But uh, you also <laughs> mentioned the overlap and unnerve as well with the, uh, what's it called, the unnerve ability with Persian and the Aerodactyl as well. So, yeah, I yeah. do see some overlap as well. So, um, what... Well, it's really good if you want, if you need another ability, but you need unnerve to have that backup yeah and you could you don't have to run a nerve on one of them you could run the other one so it's you could definitely go mm -hmm. with something like that so uh, it can stay it can stay but i think if you if we had to make a move i don't think this team needs one it's also very solid um right that would probably be the one to go for me what what to pick up i think maybe just a special attacker if you had to pick something you know i think this team has enough mm -hmm. special attack for success um, but I think that if you if you added one more, I don't even care what mode it is, slow or fast, maybe pref preferably slow, because um, Misharna doesn't quite hold its own um, on an offensive standpoint. Um, so right. So I think that this thing could def uh, this, you know, that one move can definitely benefit from a special attacker on the slow side. But does it need mm -hmm. it? Absolutely not. I think this thing just wrecks. No. This team wrecks face.